Don't be Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Welcome to day one of the madness. And folks, the NCAA tournament might be a bit more local than you think. Check it out. March Madness has arrived, and the tournament might hit a little bit closer to home than you may realize. Well, not only have Colorado State and Colorado both already won tournament games, but so has a Debeck Colorado native. That's right, Oregon's Brennan Rigsby was born and raised right here on the Western Slope. And Thursday, Brennan's family and friends came together in nearby Colburn at the Colburn Cafe to watch Brennan and the Ducks go to work. Brendan Rigsby with five. Rigsby drives high off the glass for two. You know, for our family, it's, it's, it's really, it's been awesome to watch. Uh, but I also know for Brennan, is, is one of his goals is to play in this tournament. And that's one thing that I remember, you know, him saying from a young age. And being able to do it and be able to compete in it and maybe help his team get some wins, it's, it's really awesome. And Brennan's uncle, Bron, could tell right away that Brennan was special. Uh, I just knew from the first practice, you know, it, 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 as hard as he works and the shot that he has and his athleticism um, was un unbelievable. And the family is just so happy to come together and watch one of their own shine on college basketball's biggest stage. It's pretty awesome. I We're a pretty close family anyways. We do try to get together and have watch parties um, during the season anyways, but the March Madness, that's that's really special. Um, it was kind of hard for the first game at 2 p.m. on a Thursday, but everybody that could get off of work to get here did show up, so that was pretty pretty nice. Now let's see if Brennan and the Ducks can make a run all the way to Phoenix for the Final Four, just like I predicted earlier this week. From Colburn with the Rigsby's, I'm Big Will Levinson. Boy, what a great time it was at the Colburn Cafe. That place was buzzing as the Ducks moved on. But now